Printer Precision are based in Portchester. Now they had a growing order book. However, they needed to maintain their lead times. So something had to give and they needed to invest in new technology. Let's go find out exactly what that is and meet the team. This is Mark, he's the director of Penta Precision and he's been integral in leading the team to automated pallet machining. This is Jamie, he's the cell leader. He's been put in charge of making sure the machines are working day and night and at the weekend. And this is Andy, he's in charge of scheduling the machines to ensure parts are consistently delivered to the highest quality on time. We're in a great place. Um... We run a high mix model, and when COVID came along, we knew it, we'd do well. Um, we probably didn't quite anticipate how well we would do, so we committed to more than doubling the size of the business through COVID, and actually, um, beyond that, we've just grown very quickly. We've practically doubled the business in 24 months, and we couldn't have done that uh, in the last year or so without the help of Matsura and the equipment we've bought. At Penta Precision, we service people throughout the UK, uh, doesn't matter where they are. Uh, we do pr prototyping from low volumes right through to production runs of high, high tech hundreds into one or two thousand even. Okay, so as a business, um, we want to deliver the best work-life experience for our employees and customers are always having problems with you know, their customer demands. And so we knew as a business, we needed to move to a more flexible production uh, ability. And we took time to look at the automation market and the people providing automated machines. And for our high mix environment, we knew sort of 30 plus pallets, a high tooling capacity. Our machines have got 240, uh, five axis, and a cool and swarf pack that can run throughout our UK throughout, throughout the weekend would be a, the right solution for our business model and, and, and mix of work. With a new machine, naturally there'll be some challenges along the way. So I wanted to ask Jamie exactly what he's learned. So I'm the cell leader, I'm in charge of um, two MAMs and a back and off machine and it's my job to make sure that both MAMs are fed with the right amount of work to do some running day, night and through the weekend from Friday to Monday non-stop. Um, it's been challenging because we weren't fully aware of how quickly they can get through the work compared to a normal uh, VMC where obviously once you go on they stop but they run 24-7. They get through a surprising amount of work and that's on. So me personally, I was a uh, five-axis miller with a hard aim controller. Um, I never worked on a Matsura or with a Sonic controller, so it's a bit of a learning curve for me, but Matsura themselves and their app team come down on site, gave them on-site training, how to use a controller, um, the M codes, uh, G sizes, et cetera. Um, uh, they've been really helpful getting us up and running. Um, yeah, so of course, for these machine, we've got 240 tool uh, pockets and they're loaded up with exactly the same tools and exactly the same numbers, tool holders, tool length, fully standardised it. It means we can program quicker. Um, and also, if, we're if we've proven a job out on one machine and something happened, we can pretty much put it on the, the other machine with, with no worry that it's going to be any different. So I had to ask the question, is an investment like this essential nowadays so they don't fall behind? Um, so I was part of uh, helping get these machines into the business. So uh, initial specification, uh, working with Mark and the director and uh, helping everything along the way with regards to the tooling package, the work holding package, and basically just getting them in to hit the ground running. Previously, we've obviously had uh, standard vertical machines, or if you like, single pallet machines, one job at a time. Um, the Matsuras have just, you know, given us a very difficult uh, challenge to overcome. There was nothing that was um, available to market that we found was going to be very easy to integrate. So we found that we needed to give ourselves visibility uh, for the front end team as well as the manufacturing team, and to make a solid plan so that we could deliver for our customers. 
So we devised uh, our own system, uh, just a spreadsheet based system, and uh, it's evolved a few times. It was quite frustrating to get up and running, but it's now working to the point where the front end team are confident in seeing where the capacity is they can sell, and the uh, manufacturing team are confident in what they've got to do day to day, week to week. So, um, you know, it, it's delivering for the team, basically. Uh, the 32 pallet machine gives us a massive amount of flexibility. You can go up to 350mm diameter for uh, larger parts and you can also utilise that area to uh, divide your own work holding uh, generally because there's, again there's lots on the market but you know Matsua recommended that you just design your own and make it to fit to what you're manufacturing and we can uh, utilise parts that are you know, smaller than the palm of your hand all the way down to any size. You can group them together, nest them in, in between up with other parts and it's all about utilising that pallet time. So if you can get the pallet to run uh, for as long as possible, that will give the operator more time to uh, get on to the next job, prove that out, and also uh, utilise the machine's capacity uh, much more efficiently.